Hey, everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee. It is a cold, frigid day. I say the same thing every single day, but it is cold. I think it's kind of sunny outside, so I think it's supposed to get up to about 40, which is great. I took some footage last night because some Good Samaritans helped Mr. T next door get his camper up off the road. Because remember, I told you he couldn't get it pulled all the way up. I don't know if I told you or not. I went out and tried to help him lay some boards down. Um, cause he's, he goes up a drive and it's just all clay mud, you know, that situation. And he tried so hard. He just wasn't able to do it. So there's a local contractor that lives in the area. They got out there yesterday and helped him get, get his big beast of a trailer up there. And now he is properly situated. So I'm going to show you that footage and maybe a little bit later on today. I don't know. Maybe he'll, he'll let me introduce you guys to him because he's pretty awesome anyway it's way past due I gotta go check on the chickens and see how they're doing and do some wood chopping and some other stuff so I'll get back with you first things first I gotta go check the chickens I hope I get another brown egg I hope so hey come on out beautiful chickens yep go get your nummies okay guys this is the moment of truth <sighs> Let's see, do we have any eggs in here? No eggs. But we got three eggs up here, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, I need to scrub some stuff down. My goodness, three eggs, that's good. Now it's time to let the chickens out, let them roam free. Oh, look at this. They know what's going to happen soon. I'm gonna let them out and give them their freedom. They all follow me over here. Yes, indeed, chickens. Be free. <laughs> what, are you going to follow me around? I don't have any more food for you. Look at that pretty sky behind me. You can't be sad or upset when you got that going on, can you? Just look it. It's pretty, isn't it? It is awful pretty. So, anyhow, yeah, I got to go into town. I got something at the post office waiting on me, and it has been a long time coming. We're all in. I wonder, is it going to start? Place your bets. Place your bets now. If uh, it starts, I win. If it doesn't start, uh, you lose. <laughs> all right, let's try this. Shh, shh, shh. Positive thoughts, positive thoughts. God blesses me every single time this truck starts. Yep, I just put more gas in it. And that's why Dave from Ghetto Van Adventures said he thinks it's the fuel pump. And you know what? I think Dave from Ghetto Van Adventures is right. I think it's the fuel pump. So it's only a matter of time before it won't start at all. So anyhow, off to the post office. Hey, Papa. You happy to be going to the post office? Oh. Why do you make me lift you into the truck every time? Today, at least he did put his paws up on the seat. So all I had to do is lift his hindquarters in. Of course, Judy, she pops right in. She loves it, loves it, loves it. It's here, you guys. The Christmas card that Margaret Heathcote said she sent. It is postmarked in the United States, December 5th, and it's just now getting here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna, I need two hands, hold on. Okay, you guys, there's a couple things in it, but this is the card. It's a beautiful card. Look at that pretty puppy on there. Oh, Papa's going crazy. It says, Happy Holidays. Warmest greetings and best wishes for the holiday season, Miss Anne. May God bless you and keep you strong. Margaret and Wilhelmina Heathcote. Thank you so much, you guys. That is such a pretty card. Look at this again, you guys. Look at that. All right, there is a gift card in here to Home Depot. Yes, and it's got another little cute puppy on it. Look. Puppy, oh, I need to clean my fingernails again. And if there's a receipt, tells me how much is in it to Home Depot. I can even get stuff online from Home Depot. And uh, Miss Ann from Margaret and Wilhelmina. Oh, thank you so much. And then there is this thing. It is keep this guardian angel as a reminder of the children you help. Look at this. There's a little message, there's a little coin. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard and rule and guide. Amen. 
Oh, that is so pretty. I am definitely, I'm going to find a way to, I don't know if I can find a way to put it on a, a necklace or something, or maybe on my keychain at least. I'm going to keep this. Thank you so much, Margaret and Wilhelmina. This is so special. I'm so glad it finally got here. Do you know what? I may go online today and order some stuff from Home Depot. So thank you so very much for the very, very kind gift. I love you guys so much. Yeah, while I'm in town, I think I need to go to the Dollar Tree because I need some, well, I need some Tums because my tummy's been bothering me. Um, and just pick up a couple other little things for a dollar. I can spend a dollar. Still got the puppies with me? Yes, Miss Judy's back there. <gasps> See that? See that back there? <sighs> I'm supposed to be sending something to Miss Donnaby, and I keep forgetting to do it. I am a terrible friend. <laughs> what are you doing, Judy? Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay, okay. Look at this truck. <laughs> Windows are all fogged up because Papa, he's a heavy breather. Look at Miss Judy. She's just sitting back there being totally chill. She loves the This guy, I don't know. He's getting used to it. Mr. Lucas has given me two of these things. He used, well, we filled two of them yesterday for him with some uh, pine needles and whatnot for nesting boxes for his hens so they won't maybe hopefully go all the way back in there underneath the roost. So I'm going to go fill this with pine needles today, two of them actually, and see if my chickens like it too. Look at this. I'm over here getting pine needles from Mr. Lucas' property, and these chickens came all the way down to the road. <laughs> Just followed me down here. They're on my neighbor's property right now. Those crazy chickens. I figured I'd use some of this tall grass that's all dried up and the curly Q stuff down at the bottom and kind of throw it in there too so it'll be nice and soft for their little buns. That looks like a good nest, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm just going to put these towards the back here. Just sit that one there. And this one up top over here. I've closed off this little box because I want to make sure that this is, well, I'm just going to make it a chicken brooder all the time. Not use that as a chicken nesting box or whatever. Um, so we'll see if they like that one or that one or if they're going to keep laying eggs up here or down here. We'll just have to wait and see. I managed to gather some kindling wood. I thought this is cool. Just a bunch of really fine sticks and I just wrapped it up in some bark. I'm going to set it out here and let it dry out for a little while. But yeah, if I don't have good kindling stuff, then it's impossible to start a fire. And now for the footage I took yesterday of Mr. T's trailer being pulled up by those good Samaritans. Yep, the puppies are still playing. So I'm going to show you that now real quick. You may not be able to see it very well, but what's going on over there at Mr. T's place? One of the neighbors, a local contractor, has offered to pull his trailer up onto his lot and not charge him a single dime for it. I've been praying on this and they're going to do it, so I'm not going to film the whole thing. I just want, I'm just going to hope and pray that it all goes well. Can you see it? They're doing it. Oh my goodness, they are actually doing it. God bless them, whoever they are. Looks like they've just got like a backhoe or something. That's a beast of a machine though. Oh dear God, please just let it go up. Please just let it. I can't watch this. Look at, they've got it up the, the hardest part. It should be smooth sailing from here. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lord. And they're all talking to each other. This is what this guy needed, some people who knew how to do this stuff. Look at that. Oh, this is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank goodness. Look at that. It's up there. I hope you guys can see it. I got the sun shining at me. They're just positioning it now. Good job, guys. Good job. Today has turned out to be a really cold, dreary, rainy day. I can't believe it. So I'm not going to go bother Mr. T today. Maybe tomorrow we'll get to talk to him and meet him. I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if he wants to be on camera. So it's going to be indoor stuff for the rest of the day. And uh, I'm going to cook a big pot of something delicious and warm. And just kind of chill out and think about things. Okay, so about Papa. Uh, I still haven't decided about the GoFundMe thing. I have some reservations. Uh, one of the reservations is they charge a fee for every donation. 30 cents per donation and 2.9% of the donation um, to process the the donation and uh, so that doesn't sound like a good deal to me um, I'm looking into some charities and some grants and stuff like that even some loans so I'm looking into that first um, I've got a little bit of time so we're gonna be okay we've got a, a little bit of time I've got to get it done one way or the other I will get it done <laughs> um, but I'm just I just want to do it the right way and, um, I don't know, there's a stigma attached to me. I mean, at least I attach it to myself asking for this much help. Um, and you know, people are very hypercritical and cruel and, and mean and ugly. And like I've told you before, you don't see all the comments. I delete quite a few of them and it gets to me. It does. Uh, I'm going to try not to because I have to rise above it because this is not for me. This is for this dog. So I'm going to have to get over it basically. So I'll let you know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it and whatnot. And um, you know what? I I know that a lot of you have been praying for Papa and praying for me and that everything works out. And um, I feel it. I can really, really feel it. So I'll keep you guys updated. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.